Welcome to level three at the JW Marriott San Francisco. This is my kitchen and today we're gonna make a pork chop. We're gonna grill it with some uh, bourbon sauce and we're gonna serve it with a little cauliflower puree. Uh, the first step you gotta do is you gotta brine the pork chop. We have a nice 10 ounce pork chop here. It's a Berkshire pork chop. We're gonna put it in a little citrus brine here. We've got some sliced oranges, a little citrus juice some bay leaves, peppercorns. To go with the pork chop, we're gonna serve a little cauliflower puree. I've got the cauliflower working over here. To make a cauliflower puree, you're gonna to wanna to cook your cauliflower until it's nice and tender. You're gonna pull the cauliflower out of the, uh, the water, put it in a Vitamix blender. To this puree, we're gonna add some creme fraiche, which we have here. This is Bellwether Farms cream fresh or fresh cream. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, sea salt, and a little bit of white pepper. And we're gonna blend this up in the uh, blender. All right, before we uh, throw that pork chop on the grill, still brining, uh, we're gonna make a sauce, a very simple sauce. We're gonna use some bourbon, apples, shallots, some thyme, and a little bit of chicken broth. I wanna get this sauce going because I wanna simmer it down to get the flavors in there. Apple, the sweetness, and the nice smoothness of the bourbon. Uh, I wanna get a hot pan. I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to the pan. I wanna lightly caramelize the apples and the shallots here. Now I'm gonna hit it with some bourbon. Maybe a little more bourbon. And a little bit of chicken broth. I'm just gonna let that simmer down and reduce by at least half. So now I got my sauce going, it's simmering slowly on the stove there. I've got my cauliflower puree ready to go. Now I need to grill the pork chop. So I wanna take the pork chop out of the brine. It's been in this brine for a couple hours. Just wanna pat it off dry on a paper towel so we get a nice, good caramelization on the grill. I'm gonna salt, even though it's been in a salt brine, I'm still gonna give it a little bit more salt, a little bit of fresh ground white pepper. Find a nice hot spot on the grill and give it some nice grill marks. So the pork chop's almost done. I've got my sauce reducing, cauliflower purees ready to go. All that's left is a little garnish. I've got some uh, cauliflower florets here. I've got some purple, green, and white cauliflower. I've just quickly blanched them in a little salt water. Now I'm gonna roast them in the oven to add a little more flavor to the cauliflower. I've got a hot pan on the stove. Hit it with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Get the cauliflower going in a hot pan. Now I'm gonna finish it in the oven so it's nicely caramelized and golden brown. Now it's time to finish up the sauce. It's nicely reduced. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain it into a smaller pot here. I've got a nice fine mesh strainer. So the cauliflower should be done. Let's have a look. Got some nice color on it. Now all we need to do is plate it up. So we're gonna start with the cauliflower puree. Bring our nice roasted cauliflower. Got just a little bit of sprinkles in there, a little chopped parsley. Grab the pork chop off the grill. So there you have it, grilled pork chop with a bourbon glaze.